we are once again welcome to our class so today we'll be taking a look at volumetric analysis uh, what is volumetric analysis volumetric analysis is an analytical way of measuring uh, the volume of a given solution using analytical uh, apparatus of great standard so that is what we mean by volumetric analysis so under volumetric analysis we'll be taking a look at uh, these key uh, things in conjunction so which we are not going to waste much time uh, discussing much of them because some of them you are already familiar with them okay so uh, what we'll be taking a look at under volumetric analysis we are going to be taking a look at uh, uh, the first on the list, we're going to take a look at uh, volumetric apparatus. So we have uh, volumetric apparatus to look at. Then, uh, secondly, we are going to take a look at uh, okay uh, standard solution what standard solution is all about standard solution we are also going to take a look at uh, primary standard primary standard okay so what is primary standard so take a look at that then uh, after that if time permits take a look at uh, preparation of preparation uh, of standard solution okay preparation of standard solution so uh, we are going to be explaining them bit by bit so that you can easily understand uh, what we are really talking about here in terms of uh, each and every one of them okay so first on the list we have volumetric uh, apparatus so what are volumetric apparatus you get to observe that when you get back to your notes that is on page nine so you get to see uh, we have uh, volumetric apparatus there and their respective uses okay so starting with the first one there we have standard volumetric flask so volumetric apparatus okay volumetric apparatus so we have uh, the first one there we have standard volumetric flask standard uh, volumetric flask okay so what is a standard volumetric flask a standard volumetric flask looks like this which you can easily identify uh, in any chemistry uh, lab okay looks like this and uh, it has a cork here which you can put through so this is the standard volumetric flask this is how it looks like so the standard volumetric flask uh, is used for uh, measuring the volume you want to prepare are we together that is if you have the solution already the volume of the solution you want to make up to standard you use the volumetric flask so the standard volumetric flask is used to prepare a standard solution to a specific volume so any solution you want to prepare to a specific volume you make use of the uh, standard volumetric flask which is something like this okay then we also have uh, the standard volumetric flask being of different capacity so you can have uh, 250 mil capacity okay 250 
you can have uh, 500 mil capacity, you can have 1000 mil capacity, and you can also have uh, 2000 uh, mil capacity. So all these capacities are available for, for ROS to use. Is that okay? So anytime you want to prepare a solution to a specific volume, you can make use of the standard volumetric flask here. Is it 250 uh, volume capacity you want to produce of a given solution? You make use of the 250 mil capacity. Is it 500 mil capacity? You make use of it. Is it 1000? You make use of it. Is it 2000? make use of it. So you don't intend to prepare a volume of 2000 and end up uh, using 250 mil capacity, thereby breaking down uh, the volumes. No. So that can lead you to error. So what you do is preferably go ahead straight and make use of the 200 and, uh, sorry, the 2000 mil capacity straightforward without uh, any much problem. Is that understood? So that is for the standard volumetric uh, flask. Okay? So then the second one uh, is we have uh, burette. Are we there? We have burette. So the burette is like this. Looks like this. Yes, like this. Okay, with a top here. So, this is the burette. So, this is top. And then the burette is calibrated. Are we there? So, the burette looks like this. So, what we use the burette for is for transferring the amount of acid uh, needed. Are we together? So, we said the burette is used to hold the solution of the acid. When you hold the solution of the acid, you transfer it using the tap, okay, while carrying out your uh, titration. So, that is the function of the burette. It is of different capacity. We have uh, 50 mil capacity of the burette. You can have 50 mil capacity and you can also have uh, 25 uh, mil capacity. Is that okay? It depends on the type of uh, capacity uh, of burette you want to use for your analysis. Is that okay? So, in this case, we have the third one, which is uh, pipettes. So, what is pipettes used for in volumetric analysis? And how does pipette looks like? Are we there? So, the pipette looks exactly like this, with a bulb in the middle. It goes this way. Don't mind the drawing, but you understand what I mean. So, in this case, uh, the pipette can be 25 or uh, 20 uh, mil capacity. So, what is it used for? Uh, it is used for uh, transferring a specific volume of the alkali or base uh, into the conical flask during acid base titration. So you use this particular uh, apparatus to transfer the specific volume. Are we together? And if you don't want to make use of this type of pipettes, there are different types which you can use and they can all serve you uh, regarding this very particular uh, purpose. So you don't need to worry yourself much. We have different types of apparatus that can put you through and you can understand uh, what we are truly uh, talking about here. Are we there? So that is for pipette. The next one we are going to take a look at is we are going to take a look at uh, 
conical flask okay so we have d which is conical flask what is it used for and how does it look like the conical flask is something like this we refer to it as the ellen mayer's uh, flask which is another name for it it is also uh, graduated like this like this so mostly we have different types which serve different uh, purpose and operation here so you can have uh, this very particular one available in the chemistry lab which we use also for uh, volumetric analysis so the conical flask is also known as Erlen Meyer's flask okay Erlen Meyer's uh, flask that is another name for it so so the Erlen Meyer's flask uh, is used uh, for holding uh, solution of the alkali are we there and we also know that the reaction between the acid and the base uh, takes place right inside the conical flask which serves as the system for the uh, very particular reaction then we also have retort stand with clamp which is e we have retort stand with clamp retort stand with clamp so this retort stand with clamp looks like this this is the retort then it has a clamp here so this one is the retort okay while this is the clamp so uh, the retort stand with clamp is used for uh, supporting the burette. Are we together? So you mount the burette, which can help to hold uh, or to be hold on the retort stand. So you clamp the burette here, and then you have the base, which gives the support, so that the uh, burette will not slip and fall down. Okay. Then we also have the funnel. So what is the funnel used for? Uh, the funnel is used for. Uh, we have funnel. So the funnel looks exactly like this. Okay. Ah. And what do we use it for? We use it for transferring solution. Are we together? We use it for transferring solution uh, into the burette while filling our acid. Okay? So that is the function of the uh, funnel. Then we also have white tile. What do we use the white tile for? So the white tile is mostly in square form okay uh -huh. it's mostly in square form as guess maybe and we use it in supporting our end point observation so the white nature of the background under the conical flask will tell you if you have arrived at the end point okay so if you have arrived at the end point the sharp color change the initial color change will be seen is that okay to, to avoid overshooting so the white color of the tile will help you to observe the first signal of the color change of the indicator during the titration so that you cannot overshoot the end point because overshooting the end point may lead to error during the titration okay so that is the function of that then we have uh, the measuring cylinder measuring uh, cylinder 
So the measuring cylinder looks exactly like this. Okay. And it is also graduated. It is of different capacity depending on the volume of solution you want to measure. Are we together? So that is the measuring cylinder. What is it used for? So the measuring cylinder is used to measure a specific volume of a liquid. If you have a liquid concentrated acid that you want to dilute. So you make use of this very particular uh, measuring cylinder or apparatus to measure the exact uh, amount of the uh, liquid concentrated acid so that you can dissolve. So that is that and dilute. So we are going to continue uh, from where we stop. Remember we are still in volumetric analysis. So when next we come, we are going to take a look at standard solution and primary standard. Are we together? So bear with us because this is what we can take for now. So in the next episode, we are going to continue. Time may not allow us to finish what we have itemized earlier for us to complete. So remember to stay safe and read your books. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And God bless you. Have a wonderful day and bye-bye.